Well, Lee Harder with you today. I hope you're doing well on this Monday, day before election day. Early voting ended on Saturday. Now it's all up to returning absentee ballots by the deadline. Our voting in person tomorrow. Polls open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. at the tnd.com today. We still have the voter guide for you, plus a collection of our uh, election preview stories. A look at the statewide situation. And of course, there's plenty of content there about what's going on nationally. We urge you to take a look at the TND.com as a as a place to find out a lot about election 2022, the midterms. Uh, interesting story today. A number of uh, folks who desegregated Orangeburg schools back during the civil rights era came together uh, to talk about their experiences, a uh, very good account of what they had to say by uh, staff writer Martha Rose Brown today. Uh, looking ahead to next week, interestingly enough, Donald Beatty, the South Carolina Supreme Court Chief Justice, is going to bring the court to Orangeburg, to SC State, to hear oral arguments uh, over the course of two sessions. Uh, interesting, interesting. They're going to be at Smith Hammond Middleton Arena. In football, uh, after the loss to Notre Dame, no surprise, Clemson slipped to number 12 in the polls. Let's do keep in mind that Clemson is still somewhat in the driver's seat to win the uh, Atlantic Coast Conference Championship. They will be in the championship game. South Carolina uh, will not be in the SEC Championship game, but they are now bowl eligible after the win over Vanderbilt. And an interesting story today on uh, – the summer's operation with um, Golden Colonel Pecan as a sort of a a, a, um, a Scheller's legacy there. I think you'll find that they've been they've been honored um, they've been honored for uh, their history of uh, operations in the pecan industry. All right, hope you have a good Monday, and we'll talk to you on election day.